Hey guys, welcome to Offshoot Comics Off Topic, where your host Kirby Kid and Black Superman, also known as David Clark and Walter Bryant. And uh, today we're talking about Superman's Kill List. Yeah, you know, um, Mark Wade, who is my favorite comic book writer, we, we've we've explored this already. Um, he had a problem with Man of Steel. When I, I read this whole little rant he went on about watching Man of Steel, and he thought you know Superman killing General Zod was a bad thing, and that ruined the whole movie for him. Um, and yeah, I know this is almost a year later, but. David and I were talking about the fact that uh, Superman is not exactly as perfect as a lot of people try to make he him out to be. He's killed before. <laughs> He's killed a lot, actually. So what we decided to do is go down and find Superman's actual kill list. All the people he's killed in the comic books. Some of them are in alternate universes. Some of them are not. So, get ready. Alright, number one. Obviously, this is no surprise to anybody, but General Zod... Yeah, now, we're talking about Superman 2, the the definition of uh, Superman movies here, the one that everybody says, you know, is the quintessential Superman. Yeah, at the end of that movie, when Superman takes General Zod's powers away, he doesn't put him in jail. He uh, crushes his hand, tosses him into a crystal wall, and then into a chasm full of snow in the North Pole. He might still be alive. We don't know. He's He's dead. The sunlight may have got him. He may have got his powers back at the last second. Yeah, Superman was human after that, and General Zod didn't have the green crystal. He did. But you don't... I don't... He, yeah, he's dead. He's dead. <laughs> he's dead. And, and, and speaking of that, Ursa and Nan. Now, Superman actually didn't touch them. Didn't Lois kill one of them? Yeah, Nan tried to fly and fell into the pit, and Lois punched the other one in. Yeah, he's like... Oh. And then Lois was like, yeah. Uh, Lois was like, and, yes, let's commit murder. <laughs> yes. So... So Superman and Lois actually killed but the like, three But like, how did she let herself get punched by Lois? Because she's like, she's not superhuman anymore, but she's still a soldier. Yeah, but she had superpowers until just that second. So she mm, probably thought she could no, take it. No. Yeah. No. 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 <laughs> All right. Uh, next one, Dark Side. Now we we really shouldn't be surprised by that either. Yeah, he had, I mean, he had to happen. Dark Side. It, it, yeah, it has to happen at some point. Um, this actually happened in uh, Justice League Unlimited. Superman fly fly. No, it happened at the end of the Superman um, animated show. Mm-hmm. Um, Superman beats the crap out of Dark Side and kills him. Really, um, Dark Side. Nobody actually knew it until the end of Justice League <laughs> when Dark Side shows back up and he says, "You might have killed me, Kryptonian, but I'm back." Yeah. Now that whole series is dark to me now. <laughs> it was a pretty dark series, actually. I mean, Superman blew up a city fighting Shazam. You don't remember that? I do now. <laughs> now I'm traumatized. <laughs> yeah, he broke into Cadmus, kicked the crap out of Captain Adam, and then took him away. As I a... need to rewatch this series. This seems yeah. like it was exciting. Superman beat the crap out of a lot of people. <laughs> Especially this guy. The guy who first killed Superman. It was uh, actually the most beautiful <sighs> issue in the world. You know, the all-black cover and the... I think, I think I believe the S was written in like blood or whatever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, it was beautiful. But I, I will admit though, I did not believe it when I first saw it. I think I was like eight or nine when it happened. I was like, really? <laughs> and then they started coming out with comic books world without a Superman. Yeah. Because of Doomsday. Doomsday. Yeah. Superman killed him back though. But did did did, did he really kill him? Because he's always back. Well, well, so Superman. All right. But, well, yeah. So, <laughs> so it, it's one one right now. <laughs> but yeah, he definitely definitely had to. Had to kill the crap out of Doomsday. Yeah. Now, okay. <laughs> this next one. <laughs> <laughs> Superman seems to have a problem with Oliver Queen. A, a big one. Because in multiple universes, he just kind of takes him out. Yeah, I mean, he, he cut his arm off once. He, he kills him every other time. He just, they're just not, they're just not bros. First time he killed him was Injustice. Yeah. Or, and, se- sorry, second time. First time was was in that uh, that other comic there. We'll get to that later, but yeah. yeah. So he he, he, kill, he kills him in Injustice. He cuts his arm off in uh, Dark Knight Returns. Mm-hmm. Um, they're just not they're just not cool. Yeah, and like basically, um, he's what the poor man's Batman. Even actually, he's a rich man's he's Batman. Rich, he's but still he's poor like, man's Batman. Yeah, like he's like almost as good as Batman, not really, and then not, not as good close. as anybody else. So. <laughs> He just like that accessory character that you need in case you need like to fill a spot. He's a red shirt. Yeah. 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 yeah he's, he's a red, red shirt. shirt. <laughs> All, right. All right. Next up, and this one was surprising how he did it. Uh, Shazam. 
Yeah, you know, he yeah, Shazam comes over and he's like, maybe we're doing the wrong thing. Superman grabs him by the throat, laser eyes him no, 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 through no, the skull. No. First, he freezes his mouth shut. So he, cause he, he was getting ready to go, shut he's like <sighs> He's like, Oh. Okay, yeah. <laughs> and then the whole league just watches this, he goes, laser eye into an eleven year old child. He's, dumb, dumb like he he's like sixteen, man. That doesn't that oh that that makes it better? Yeah, yeah. It does, yeah. <laughs> but yeah, so he just kinda Kind of kill Shazam there, and I kind of say he killed him at the end of uh, Kingdom Come too, because he could have stopped that missile instead of making crazy, horribly <laughs> tortured Billy Batson run into the missile. Look, he tried to use his his uh, heat vision. He could have walked and punched in the face. <laughs> he could have. Look, Superman wasn't even wasn't even vulnerable to kryptonite anymore. He, so he most to, likely could have just stopped. He the was whole just thing. trying to kill Billy. He's like, hey Billy, I know you're crazy and can't think straight. You see that missile up there? Go run into it. Well, he did. Yeah. And but Superman the, got the, the magic should have, should have saved him, though. That well, magic is let him take punches from Superman. And yeah, you don't tell he, me a missile takes him out? No, but he called, remember, he called down the lightning to stop the missile. Oh, so, he lost so his power. He, so he was, yeah, he was powerless when that happened. Still, though. Still. It's Superman's fault, though. It is, it is Superman's it fault. Is, that, it that, is. That, I, that I, entire I, comic book is Superman's fault. Yeah, he shouldn't have left. <laughs> <laughs> Everybody who died basically should be on this list. But Yeah, uh, so everyone in Kingdom Come... <laughs> Okay. Next so, up, General, General Zod, Zod again. again. <laughs> but this time is in the comic books. Um, Mr. Wade, Superman goes to an alternate universe, finds General Zod and his two followers, uh, Feyora and what is it, Kixley? Kixley? And takes their powers away. And General Zod says, I'm going to get my powers back. I'm coming to your world. I'm going to take you out. So Superman killed him. Which is, this is fair. Yeah, yeah, it's fair. I mean, you know, if somebody said, I'm coming to your house, I'm going to kill your wife, I, I, I'd do it. Yeah. So, I yeah. mean, I mean, Superman, like, like really, he's going to, like, be mad at you. <laughs> well, all those people who think Superman wouldn't kill anybody. Who cares, though? They can't do anything about yeah, it. It's, like, really, it's really true. Uh, <laughs> next up, and no one was sad about this one, the Joker. Yeah. Okay. Also an injustice. By the way, he's been killing a lot lately. The Joker? No, Superman. Superman. Like this is all. Some of this has happened like the yeah, last year. Really, yeah, the last couple of years. <laughs> yeah, that's true. But I mean, you you have to admit, you don't really like Superman, but you know you you know you, you felt he was right. But we kill a Joker. Yeah, anyone is justified in killing Joker at any time for any reason. Batman, you <clears throat> right? But he, he does do it in Dark Knight Returns. He like, does. Where yeah. he's like, I'm too old for this. <laughs> <laughs> like I'm about to die. I gotta make sure you go first. <laughs> We actually considered doing a Batman kill list, but Batman's kill list is only the Joker. Yeah, he don't kill anybody else. And, well, and Ra's al Ghul, but that doesn't really count because Ra's al Ghul is immortal. He has more quarters, so you know, he's fine. <laughs> <laughs> Next up, Black Adam. Yeah, no, okay. The the Black Adam kill is kind of shaky. There's a um, Superman short with, where he meets um, Billy Batson, and at the end of it, um, they force Black Adam to say, his, to say Shazam. He loses his powers, turns into dust. That's he, a murder. Yeah. That is a murder. You take a life, sir. <laughs> but but it counts. Sorry. It counts. That's on your list, man. Next up, General Zod again. Yeah, now this is the man <laughs> of steel kill on General Zod. <laughs> he is he is not a fan of Zod. <laughs> <laughs> this is the man of steel kill on General Zod. And actually, no, no. He almost killed him in Smallville, but he didn't kill him, so right. that doesn't make it. But this is the one where he breaks General Zod's neck and leaves his body laying there for Cadmus to right. take and become and create kryptonite. Two things. One, yeah, they're going to create kryptonite. Two, they're probably going to create Superboy out of that. Yeah. Let's be yeah. honest. They, I mean, cause I'm sure... I mean, since all Kryptonians come from, like, the same source, mm -hmm. technically, I mean, you should be able to get Superman's DNA out of anybody since they all came from the same that little thing, computer. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so there's that. I mean, and then another thing... It shouldn't have had to come to that if the, the the stupid little family had just left, walked away, <laughs> or maybe maybe tuck and roll something. <laughs> it shouldn't have, it shouldn't have been on it. Well, it was going to come to that anyway. I mean, General Zod did say he wasn't going to stop. Right. So maybe those people would have gotten away, but the next one wasn't going to do it. So I yeah. mean, eventually Superman. And was gonna also, do it. how does snapping the neck kill a Kryptonian empowered by the Yellow Sun? Because that's only just, like... Human? I mean, well, it's human, but it's like... So this part is damaged. But you got all this still working, up and running. Shouldn't that heal? I mean, you can't... If you broke Wolverine's neck, wouldn't he just heal? Depends. Depends on what? 
on what happens if you broke his neck. There's this uh, Elseworlds where the Hulk breaks Wolverine's neck, mm-hmm. and because he's got adamantium bones, oh, he can't heal back. He can't heal, so yeah, he but, dies. But Superman has regular bones that are all working with him. Yeah, so like, so that, technically, General Zod should have. He should have been like, okay, cool, I'm back up. And he might. Have. Hey, he may. He may be like on a, on a table somewhere and be like, oh, I'm awake. And then ba- if that happens though, he better say kneel before Zod. I was really disappointed with that. That was really. Yeah, see, so and, and that's why you died, Zod, right there. He didn't, say, he didn't say kneel before but Zod. But maybe he didn't really die because he wants a chance to come back and do it. <laughs> <laughs> okay, now, hey. I don't actually know who this is. Neither do I. So, but he does make Superman's kill list because, well, he was in our research. Yeah. Titan. So okay. Titan. We don't know who that is. So we'll move it on. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Next so, up. A uh, Kryptonian dragon? You told me this is a real thing. Yeah, it's a real what thing. What is a Kryptonian dragon? It's a dragon from Krypton. Oh, okay. <laughs> well, all right, See, then. When, when Wait, but it's an animal, though. Does that really count? Cri- Sup- it had, the dragons on Earth talk. Superman was uh, was raised on a farm where literally, I believe, all he did was kill animals. I'm pretty sure that it's was really part true. of everyday life. That's really true. Um, sorry, tree huggers out there. You That's look, what happens look, on farms. We, we eat meat. They, 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 we kill things on the farm. Yeah. I grew up on a farm. I shot a pig. I, I did it. I, I admit it. So, Kryptonian dragon, kind of sad, but really, not really. Okay. Next so, up, some chick named Heater. Yeah. Um, some chick with fire powers who actually wasn't a bad person, and Superman felt really bad about this because he felt like he had to kill her to save the world. Yeah, apparently she was going out of control and destroying the city, and he was all crying. And she was like, ah. he was like, ah. she was like, ah. and he's like, man, that really sucked. <laughs> now let me go back to my hot wife. Right, exactly. Yep. Next up, the cyborg. Okay, now this one kind of has an asterisk because. He didn't really kill the cyborg, but the thing is, is he tried. And thought he did. And he thought he did. He was like, yeah. At the end of <laughs> Superman, when he finally returns, um, he gets his powers back, the Eradicator gets his powers back, Superman shoves his fist through the cyborg's chest and then rattles it and blows him up. Now, the cyborg comes back a year later, but Superman thought he was dead. So, that, that counts. That, that's intent. Yeah. If, the, if, if he was in a court of law, which was somehow strong with the whole Kryptonians... That'd be a defense. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> You'd be like, yeah, you're going to jail. Next up. Okay, this is an Elseworlds. Um, speeding bullets where Superman is actually Batman. He was found by the Wayne. So he killed Super Joe Batman. Chill. Batman. Wait, wait. Is he still Kryptonian? Yeah. Super Batman. And he killed Joe Chill. Imagine how scary that is. Yeah. Super Batman. You're the guy who killed his family. You killed his parents. And he's standing in front of you, slowly laser eyeing you from the way, from the legs up. As Super Batman. <laughs> you don't know how scary that is. <laughs> Batman is already on Superman's level by being Batman, and now he's Super Batman. Yeah, <laughs> but you know, but, but you know who's more who's more Batman than Super Batman? Batman. Batman. <laughs> Batman Regular Batman is more Batman Superman. than Super Batman. <laughs> um, next up, um, this one is uh, this one was surprising. Wonder Woman in Absolute Power. Yeah, now I haven't read Absolute Power. Um, I know what it is. Uh, I'm going to read Absolute Power because Superman killing Wonder Woman. Okay, look. You don't kill the hottest woman on the planet who also happens to be the only one who can keep up with you. And the only one who will live long enough for you to actually have a full enjoyment of life. Yeah. So, <laughs> that was a little yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I mean, there's only one other person, his cousin, and that's Icky. She is so, really hot, though. Like, she's really, he yeah. must be super upset. Like, there's <laughs> one Kryptonian on the planet I can be with, and she's, she's my cousin. cousin. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, I mean, if, 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 I say if they were in Japan, it'd be cool, but he's he's he was born in America. <laughs> he was raised in America. Raised in America, that's right. Raised in he, America. He, he was born on another planet. On Krypton, yeah. Now, on Krypton, that might be okay, though. On Krypton, they don't have sex. Oh, no, they have sex, but not to make kids. So it would be okay, I guess, technically, because you're not making stupid, r targeted offspring. Maybe. 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 Plus, yeah. I mean, well, he can do it on Earth. I mean, who's going to tell him no, really, honestly? <laughs> Like, who's going to tell him, your love is wrong, we're Kryptonian. You know what, you're right. You're right. <laughs> well, she might say it's wrong. There's a whole other problem right yeah. there. Yeah. They, yeah, they, they didn't teach him until they were adults. That's true. There was been so well, much confusion. <laughs> well, no, because she, she babysat him when he was kids oh. on, on Krypton. So, she saw him as a baby. Oh, okay. And then, but Superman, he's like, like half his, brain, know you. Half his <laughs> brain knows it's wrong. The other half is a man. Uh, <laughs> Who's going, I don't know you. Right. But I, but I see you. <laughs> right. Especially Power Girl. Oof. Yeah. Okay. Right. All right. Next up, 
Green Arrow again. In absolute power. Yeah, he was uh, going absolutely crazy. <laughs> yeah, see, okay. I don't think we can we can uh, say enough. We can't make we can't make this clear enough. He does not like no, Oliver Queen. They are not <laughs> friends. I mean, if you read the the, the 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 current iteration of Justice League, when Green Arrow was trying to join, they're like, no. He's like, please, no. I just say all your lives. No, we don't want you. We hate you. Leave us alone. Like, we only we already have one normal person. <laughs> yeah. He ain't normal. Yeah, we already have <laughs> one guy with no power. He's like, I'm oh, Batman. <laughs> I'm rich. Think Batman. about it though. Think about it though. Batman's so impressive. He's walking around with the league, and they didn't know he didn't have powers until he told them. They assumed that entire time they were with him that he had powers. That's, He's yeah. like a mythical dragon creature or something. Yeah, Batman is so impressive. There's this uh, inner monologue Superman has with himself, where mm-hmm. he says to himself something along the lines of, "You know, I used to think of Bruce as nothing but a guy in a cape." And, 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 and a mask. Mm-hmm. Then I met him. He's Batman. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and Superman's like, yeah, yeah. Then you know you have achieved greatness in your lifetime. <laughs> like, look, l- let's be real. The major problem I have with um, anything where Superman takes over the world or tries to is that they never have him kill Batman first. And you know, as intelligent as Superman is, that would be the first thing he'd do. Right? Like, first of all, injustice. It wouldn't. Have, it wouldn't have take Batman no five years to stage a rebellion. No, it would be like by next week. And well, be, to be perfectly honest, if I'm Superman, it would never happen because I'd have laser eyed him. Because he did walk up to Bruce yeah. and was like, "I'm mad at you." And he's all like, "Well, I'm Batman." And he's like, "I'm gonna leave." <laughs> and Alfred, yeah. Alfred, was, Alfred, was, Alfred was talking smack too, like, <laughs> like, because like he's like, "I work for Batman. What do you do?" I'm Alfred. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm Alfred. I, you know, like. When, when he showed up and was getting ready to kill the Joker, I mean, Batman, Batman really didn't, he didn't try that hard. He was like, Clark, no, oh, okay. <laughs> I'm just going to lay here on the ground while you kill him, while I have this awesome Krypton, uh, Kryptonite ring right here. <laughs> but, that being said, he did go, okay, look, you know, I have to oppose you now. Yeah. And Superman said, okay. <laughs> That's when laser eyes should have happened, right there. It wouldn't work, though. It would have. No, with Batman, Batman foresaw it. That would have been a bat drone. That actually might be true. Could be Batman. Doom didn't do it first. I'm, I'm sure he learned from Batman. <laughs> All right, <laughs> next up, some dude called the Sun Eater. It's actually a, a creature. Um, it eats suns. Superman well, yeah, has it, one it, as it, a pet. It, it doesn't. Why? Why? He likes rare creatures from outer space. No. It eats suns. It eats what makes you Superman. Oh, well, Superman actually makes uh, miniature suns and feeds it. Okay, first of all, there's... There's so many things wrong <laughs> with scientifically with that. That's another video. We ain't even gonna touch that right now. I, gra- what? No, there's gravity. He has he has this. Um, no, sir. Like the Forge of Eternity or something like that. It's a it's an anvil and, a, is, and it a, ma- is it magic? Yeah, and he makes suns with it. Okay, and then because it's it. magic, I'll accept that because it, that magic don't make no sense. But, but that is that's retarded. Ridiculous. Yeah. Yeah. Could he inject himself with suns? That's an interesting question. Could he eat one and then superpower himself? Could he make a forge that makes suns and just leave, leave, leave it in their stomach? Hmm. So then he'd always be sun dip Superman. That would. Uh, that's another video. Thing. That 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 I would read that comic book. <laughs> We're just like you're yeah, all the time, just like Super Saiyan, just twenty four seven. And oh. if somebody writes this story for DC Comics, you know it was us. We came up with that. Pay me. <laughs> Next up, okay. When Darkseid um, attacked the world, Superman killed a bunch of parademons. Not just one. And no, one, and really, no one cares about that though. Yeah, I mean, because they're kind of mindless zombie things anyway. But he did kill them, and they they are sentient, so that it counts. Yeah. Okay. Next up, in Justice League Unlimited, he killed Lex Luthor. Long overdue. I understand this man employs people, but when he dies, his company is still there. Now, for those of you who are going, no, he didn't. Okay. It wasn't our Superman. It was other universe Superman. Um, the Flash died, and then Superman kind of lost his sense of humor. Lex Luthor did something. Superman and became president. Superman walked into the White House, just killed him, said, oh, "Yeah, no, we're done," and then left. Hey, getting the vice president though. 
Nah, not really. Oh, yeah, because you ran with Luthor. Yeah. So you got a chance to make one mistake. And, I'm and then you, <laughs> you're done. <laughs> hey, you know what? The army can't stop me. The army be like, yeah, dude, you just you just died, man. <laughs> I mean, like, we, the Superman Doomsday, the the, the movie, mm -hmm. you know, Superman standing up on top of that monument, and the the, ar the whole army's down there, and like they're like, okay, um, yeah, we're getting ready to fight Superman. This is a bad idea. There's that like one crazy guy who's like dead man walking. Uh, he got he died first. Yeah, yeah. So but that know. wasn't the real Superman who killed him. That was a clone. It's 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 all Superman. It's if you wear an S on your chest, you you're Superman. <laughs> <laughs> oh, next up, okay. In in the story, whatever happened to the Man of Tomorrow? Um, Brainiac thirteen. Now Superman has a habit of killing Brainiacs. Actually, is he okay? Brainiac. I know he's a living computer, uh, but is he a living thing? What he is is a um, in that story, Brainiac is a computer that's like in a headband and it like attaches to someone's head and turns them into Brainiac. Mm, so he's a computer. So he's a computer. So the person he killed was just a person. Yeah. So he killed someone who had nothing to do with this. Pretty much. Yeah. Batman would have figured out a way around it. No, he yeah, would have. He would have. <laughs> you, know you couldn't even. You, could, you couldn't even lie on that one. You're like, you know what? Well, you're right because he's Batman. But Superman actually. Superman the fact that Superman. Out. The fact that Superman could have gone to the fortress and figured it out makes it even worse. It really does. He could have just got the flash. They could have had like a brainstorming session real quick. Over chess. Mid punch. He'd be like, oh, should I do it? Let me do some research real quick. And let me think about it. Let me take a nap. You know. <laughs> it's like, but no, he's like, no. Kill. Bam. Done. Going home. <laughs> I'm hey, out. Hey, sometimes that's the way you got to do it. Superman's out. <laughs> um, all right. Last one. And this one made me a sand panda. I was really disappointed with Superman uh, in this one. Uh, Martian Manhunter and Injustice Gods Among Us, the comic book. Yeah, okay, Martian Manhunter is sort of a pacifist. I mean, there's not really a real reason for Superman to kill him. Well, okay, well, okay I'll, I'll give him this. Manhunter was all like, like, he was posing as a hot girl. And he was uh, trying to attack Wonder Woman because they had found him out. And then Superman was like, I'm going to kill you. And then he's like, crawl into one of them's body and just live there. And one of them's like, all right, Clark, do it. And he's like, cool, laser eye, and just burned him to death. And I'm like, you couldn't have, I don't know, punched her until he got out? Because she would have been fine. Well, no, I mean. She would have been fine eventually. She's like the third most powerful person on the planet. But the difference between two and three is really right. big. <laughs> now, so, so wait, so I don't understand how Manhunter died. Like, he couldn't have, I don't know. Telekinesis, or her or him or, or something or, because no. he, he should be he should be able to fight Superman pretty easily. Yeah, he's almost as strong. Cause like, cause like he's almost as strong, but he's got one thing Superman doesn't have, intangibility. Yeah. And that alone should you should be at least able to run away. But fire takes his powers away, even when he's intangible. Yeah. So heat vision would be the one thing. But that's but, but that's just heat though. It had to hit one woman to make flame. Still, just, just be in the air. Just be just because they were in the air. Just be in the air and be intangible. You're good because it's it just heat. Technical, technical, technicality. You know, like, yeah. Super, Superman's eyes would just start spitting out fire because of I mean, because because if we're if we're real, the Martian Manhunter, the Martian people actually aren't vulnerable to fire. They're just really scared. really afraid of it, and the fear of it takes their powers away and thus kills them. They're not actually vulnerable to it. If he doesn't know that he's on fire, he's fine. He should be able to be Superman. He should be, but he can't. he's almost as strong. Can, can he teleport? Teleport, no. No, but but, but, but he's in town. But he can pass through he, things. He can shape he can... shift, and he's got mental abilities and telekinesis. Well, Superman has a uh, mental lock. He, he has a lock. He, he can't get no other ability. He, he can keep people out. He can, he can do this. Actually, Kryptonians are, te are telepathic. No, but they're telepathic no. with each other only. No, sir. I say the nay. <laughs> it's true. I reject that power and that premise. <laughs> No. <laughs> and that's the reason why Superman's able to keep people out of his brain. Remember when he, we were watching no. Superman versus the no. Elite? And, he, and uh, what was that dude? Um, Union Jack, or whatever his name was. Um, you know, the leader. Yeah. Uh, no, something black. Anyway. Bat Batman could do it out of sheer willpower. He trains them to do it. He yeah, well, he has an e Kryptonian easy button DNA. <laughs> It was like Kryptonian evil. It is. It is, it is, it is you can't even lie. You can't even lie on that one. It's like, want to be a hero? Now you're good. Yeah, Superman. 
<laughs> but yeah, so that's the list. But I mean, if there's anyone else that we missed, let us know. If anyone we said didn't happen, also let us know because not all this is from our personal experience. Yeah. And Mr. Wade, um, if you would like to uh, comment on this, we we would love to hear from you. Yeah, and have you on the show to talk about. Superman being and, a murderous jerk. <laughs> yeah, and then knowing that this list is this long, does that change how you feel about Man of Steel? No, it's still not that good. Man of Steel was great. You just didn't like Superman. No, no, first of all, first of all, I like the fights. They got it right, which was amazing. But, all right, look. Superman ha- shouldn't have to kill Zod like that. That would make no sense. Okay, and then the was, dog. The, 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 the dog. dog yeah, dying for the, the dog was also stupid. Um, I didn't like the fact that... Um, Zod didn't say his line. That 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 was really the biggest point with me. Because I, I came to that movie, and that's really all I wanted out of it. That's all I wanted. I didn't ask for much. <laughs> I, just, I, I wanted my generation's kneel before Zod moment, you know? And that, we were robbed of that, really. That was our entire generation was robbed yeah, of that. Yeah, and you know what? When he's screaming in, in, in the tribunal at the beginning of the movie, that, I thought that was when he was yeah. going to say it. And he, he never will did. will kneel before... And it's, uh, how was that hard? Anyways, and then um, I didn't like the fact that Superman, uh, like all the girls were attracted to him right off the bat. Like for a while, you'd be like, "Oh wait, you're an alien, and you're you're kind of destroying my city." Like I, there should be a little bit of shock. The girl was like, "Oh, he's cute." <laughs> he just destroyed twelve million dollars of equipment. The girls. Yeah, the guys were like, mm, "That's not cool, dude. That's not cool." Yeah, and the girls like, "Well, he's kind of." You know, at least three of those guys in the movie were gay, and they were like, "Dude, you're still an alien, destroying my property." <laughs> I can't have this right now. <laughs> um, yeah, it's true, it's true. Yeah. Um, okay, before we go. Yeah. Um, Spider-Man. Peter Parker's coming back. Like, we, we're surprised. We, yeah, you know, like we've been saying basically since... In the, the non-reboot reboot with Amazing Spider-Man number one. Mm-hmm. It was at 700. 701 would have been more impressive. Yeah, see, like, start over again at 701. I mean, I don't I don't have a problem with that. Yeah, just keep, keep it going. There's no reason to start all over again unless you're going to change the story. Well, Peter Parker now has a doctorate and a company and a hot girlfriend. But like, he didn't really need that. Yeah, and technically Doc Ock got it for and him. He's going to get the MJ again. That's just well, yeah, he has to because it's well, like the Peter Parker. There are certain women in in DC and Marvel who are just like crack to these heroes. Mm-hmm. They're always going to go back. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's true. <laughs> but, Captain uh, America got Black Widow though, so you know. And, and he was also with uh, what's her name, Scarlet Witch, for a while, wasn't he? Was he? Yeah, I, I, I remember seeing a cover where they were kissing. Apparently, they, they they were they were a thing for a while. That's a little scary. That's kind of weird. Like, yeah, because like you kissing Magneto's chick. Yeah, you kissing Magneto's daughter. It's like because like you could never really be with Wanda no matter how hot she is because like Magneto kill you. Yeah, like and your weapon is a metal flying object. <laughs> it's really not a good idea. <laughs> I mean, that like Wolverine trying to date Wanda. And that would not go well. No, that at all. would go. That would go well at all. He he'd be dead. Yeah, he would turn the the everything in, inward and just ooh. Yeah. Or no. just drop him to the bottom of the ocean and keep him there. That's cool. I approve. <laughs> all fathers. Mag- approve. Magneto is one of my uh, one of my <laughs> favorites in comic books because he's just like I'm like he's not like like Scott who's like we can live together and help. He's like no, I'm better than you. It's like think about it. I, I'm everything you are. I'm a human. I'm literally everything you are, plus a thing that you will never be. <laughs> like you will never be as powerful as I am. Thus, making the premise for the first X Men movie really stupid. Okay, I've got powers. You don't have powers. So instead of killing all of you, I'm going to give you all powers. Maybe they did this so that there'd be more mutant offspring, so that the race wouldn't die out. Nah, he just did it to turn a bunch of people. It, it, it would be like us walking into the middle of a KKK meeting and turning y'all all black. <laughs> we should do that. <laughs> if we ever get the technology, that's the first thing I'm doing. <laughs> no, but, but, um, but yeah, so that's this, week, this week's episode. Um, and like I said, we are doing the top 100. Um, that should be coming out within the next, like the recap episode. We're, we're going to do a recap first because it's been a couple years um we're gonna do a recap episode and we're gonna start uploading the old videos on this channel um the recap will just you know re- you know go over everything and then after the recap video comes out i believe we're still 40 or 50 possibly 30 away from number one so then we'll take it up from there mm-hmm. um and basically the criteria for that is you know longevity impact uh money is made popularity 
which means expect One Piece to be on there even though we hate it, but it's, yeah. it's like, greatness on, on this kind of scale is not a, uh, uh, it's not an it's opinion. It's not up for debate. It's not yeah. an opinion. It's a matter of fact, and One Piece is up there. Uh, yeah, like, like let's say number 100 could be debated. Numbers 10 through 1 can't. Yeah, there's just, there, there, there's just 10 that are just going to be just like that. Um, Naruto will not, not be in the top 10. It's, if you'd asked us that two years ago, maybe. Three, four, six. <laughs> <laughs> no, but um, but yeah, so the, the, it, it, the list is coming. Now, just so you know, videos may be a tad bit slower because somebody got a full-time job. Hey! Yeah, Kirby Kid has money now. <laughs> so, um, things are going to be a tad bit slower, but videos will still be coming out every week, just maybe like on a Saturday night on a regular basis. <laughs> so... But, uh, yeah. Unless something, you know, really important If it's happens. super important, then uh, I'll stay up a little later and get the video out. Uh, because we, we've got attached to you guys. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So remember, we love reading comments. Right. So remember, contact us at offshootcomics at gmail.com because of the Google Plus thing. We can't uh, respond on this account. But we will respond on our own personal account, which mm -hmm. is just David Clark. And Walter Bryant. With the Offshoot Comics logo next to it. Uh, remember to like, favorite, share, subscribe, download our app, where you can look at our, our awesome comic books. And um, I think that's it for now. Yeah, yeah. So, so next time, you're your host, Kirby Kid. And, you know, the Superman fan, Black Superman. Superman killed a lot of people, sorry. He killed a <laughs> lot of people. But, <laughs> till next time. <laughs> See you later, guys. <laughs>